What's up, guys? How are you doing? Uh, I hope all of you are fine, okay? I'm Teacher Guilherme, and today I'm going to talk about first and second conditionals, okay? So, guys, what is first conditional? The first conditional has the present simple, after, if, then the future simple in the other clause, okay? So, we have two clauses, one using if and the present, and other using if with will, or the person with ill, all right? So let's check. Uh, if plus simple present or present simple will plus infinitive, okay? So guys, if I have money, I will go to New York. If I have a car, I will go to the beach, okay? Why do we use it? Guys, uh, this con the first conditional, it's used to talk about things which might happen in the future, this describes possible things which could easily come true, okay? So look at these examples here. If it rains, I won't go to the park. If I study today, I will go to the party tonight. If I have enough money, I will buy some new shoes. She will miss the bus if she doesn't leave soon. If I see her, I will tell her. Okay, guys? So, let's take it out. We have, like, we have here the if clause and we have the future. Look at this, my own examples, okay? If I study, I will pass in the exam. But if I don't study, I won't pass in the exam, okay? So, the first conditional is used when we have to say that something is probably going to become true. Okay, so something is probably going to become true, all right? So practice makes perfect, okay? Guys, I would like you to get a paper or write here in the comments on YouTube. What will you do if you don't have school today? Please, a complete answer, okay? What will you do if you don't have school today? In my opinion, if I don't have school, all right? So. If I don't have school, I will go to the beach. If I don't have school, I will sleep more because I am so tired, okay? Now, let's go to the second one. Will you come to my party if I invite you? Will you come to my party if I invite you? My opinion. Yes, if you invite me, I will come to your party. Three, will you start watching Friends if I ask to do it? Will you start watching Friends if I ask to do it? Yes, I will start watching Friends if you ask me to do it, okay? Guys, so this is a probability situation that might happen in the future, all right? So, we have if clauses. So, let's remember, first conditional, simple present with will. Okay, if simple present with will, or will and then simple present if. Now, let's talk about second conditional. Guys, pay attention. The first conditional is used to talk about something that's probably going to happen. While the second conditional is used to talk about something that won't happen because it's not true. All right, so it's almost in unrealistic situation, okay? So the second conditional uses the simple past, then would and the infinitive, okay? So if plus past participle, would plus infinitive. Guys, it's not important the order, okay? It's not important if would plus infinitive starts or if plus past simple starts. The important is that has to contain this grammar correctly, all right? Look here, guys. If I were a boy, I think I would understand. If I were a boy, I think I would understand. Why am I using it? I'm using it because the probability of being a boy, it's impossible if I'm a girl, all right? Actually, I'm, I'm a boy. So I can say that if I were a girl, because it's not possible. There's no connection. It won't happen. So this is why I say, if I were a boy, I think I would understand. 
okay? Beyonce's music. It's really good. Listen to it. Move on, guys. And pay attention to this part. We use a word instead of saying was with I, he, she, and it, okay? So, this is mostly done in informal writing. So, guys, let me explain you why. We generally have the verb to be in the past as I was, you were, he, she, it, was, they, were, you, were, all right? They, we, you, were. But with the conditionals, we say all of them with were, okay? So, if I were you, I would go to the party. If I were a boy, I think I could understand. Okay, easy? So, guy, so guys, let's go to the first one. We have two uses of this second conditional. The first to use is to talk about things in the future that probably not going to be true. Maybe imagining some dream. For example, if I won the lottery, I would buy a big house. Guys, but I want to won the lottery. Why? Because it's really difficult. The chances are almost imperceptible. Okay, guys? So this is why we're going to use this second conditional. Okay? If I met the Queen of England, I would say hello. Guys, what are the chances of me meeting the Queen Elizabeth? It's impossible. Queen Elizabeth is the most protected woman in the world. She's an elderly woman. Right? Now check the third one. She would travel all over the world if she were rich. Guys, is she rich? No, she's not rich. So... And the possibilities of she being rich is really small. It's almost impossible. All right, so she would pass the exam she has studied. And we have the second use of the second conditional. We use it to talk about something in the present which is impossible because it's not true. For example, if I had his number, I would call him. I don't have his number now, so it's impossible to call him, all right? If I were you, I wouldn't go out with that man. So, uh, bro, if I were you, I wouldn't go out with that girl. She's not fine for you, dude. I can say in that way, because I'm not my friend, so I can't say. It's impossible for being your best friend. You can love him, you can like him, but you are not him. You are you, right? So... If I were you, I wouldn't go out with that girl. Or you said to your friend, your female friend, if I were you, I wouldn't go out with that man. Okay? Now let's practice. Guys, please, tell me what would you do if you were the president of Brazil? Okay, pause the video and write here. What would you do if you were the president of Brazil? I want to know and Okay guys, so if you were rich, what would you do with all of your money? If you were me, would you let me go? If you were me, would you let me go? Guys, the third one is a joke. Why is it a joke? Because it's a song very popular. Okay, it's not needed to answer. So guys, let's go to the first one. My opinion. If I were the president of Brazil, I would chant the law for the poor people. All right. If I were rich, I would travel a lot and I would make creative for a lot of people. Okay, guys, but now you ask me, teacher, how is this different from the first conditional? So, this kind of conditional sentence is different from the first conditional because this is a lot more unlikely. For example, the second conditional. If I have enough money, I would buy a house with 20 bedrooms and a swimming pool. So, I'm probably not going to have this much money. It's just a dream. It's not very real. Alright? 
But the first conditional is, if I have enough money, I will buy some new shoes. It's more likely that I will have enough money to buy new shoes than I would buy a house with 20 bedrooms. Okay? Okay, guys, so now let's check if you understand. Let's practice with the exercises. Okay, guys, so now let's check if you understood them correctly, okay? So, let me do this. We have the questions, okay? So, if I, -na -na -na, you, I will never let me go. Okay, guys, so what do you think? If I will you or if I were you, what do you think? Okay, so if I were you, I will never let me go. Yes, remember. Okay, so let's do this stuff. Please, pause the video, take a paper, take a note, and let's go. Make the, all these exercises and I'll bring the answer as soon as possible, okay? I'm gonna give you some time. And then, guys, how was it? So let's check the answers, okay? If I were you, I would never let me go. Where would you go if you could go anywhere in the world? If he causes any more problems, I would fire him. If I lost my job, I would apply to join the police. If I were a millionaire, I'd still work so that I didn't get bored. Guys, pay attention. This here is the abbreviation of I would, okay? So I would, I'd, I'd, okay? So next, we have more questions, okay? So if I get home late tonight, I, ta -na -na, not eat, okay? So guys, this time I won't do anyone with you, okay? So please pause the video and let's go. And then, how was it? Was it difficult? I bet it wasn't. So let's check the answers, okay? So if I get home late tonight, I won't eat. If Jen could run 100 meters in 10 seconds, he would be an athlete. If Simon catches a fish today, he will eat. She would buy a Porsche if she won the lottery. If it rains in the Sahara desert, Everyone would be very surprised, all right? So let's go to the final one. Okay, guys, the same example. Please stop the video, do, and I'm gonna correct with you, okay? Let's go. If your boss finds out, you will lose your job. We will never find the keys if we don't look for them. Will we go to the beach if the weather is okay? If we both save it enough money, we would go to Japan. If you don't want the job, you should tell her. Okay? So guys, I hope all of you have enjoyed the class, okay? Don't forget to subscribe in the channel. Very thick that the notifications are on. Thanks for watching and see you.